Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, this is start of um, my more advanced video series, so if you uh, intend to continue to my vo more advanced classes. So, the first thing that we're going to be covering, uh, I'm going to demo to you, is creating a rocket. Now, when you think of rocket, you think of like a, well, like an Atlantis or like a Saturn V. No, today we're just going to create one of those cartoonish rockets, you know, those ones where it has like the, like, like almost like a oval, like, like, like a slightly elliptical body and it has like a nice red body, a, a red body color and they have like the flame shooting out of the back end, that kind of rocket, okay? But... Um, in the creation of this rocket, we're also going to be dealing with a lot of the previous techniques that we have discovered, including holes, um, rotating, uh, placing, using work planes, stuff like that, okay? So, we're going to be covering today, firstly, how to build the launch pad of the rocket. Yes, every rocket has to have a launch pad. So, what we're going to do right now is we are going to drag a red box object to the workspace. Remember, this is your basic shapes gallery. Let's go on ahead and take a red box, drag it right into the middle. Right there, drop it. Good. Next, we are going to size it down to one millimeter. Okay, so watch out for the handle right here. Go down to one. Okay. Everybody with me? And your length and waist should stay the same, so 20 by 20. But now, what we're going to do is that we're going to make this a little bit larger. We're going to make this a little bit wider. So remember, shift key, hold down the shift key. This makes sure that the propor propor proportions stay constant. Let's drag it out and maybe yeah, aim for 70 millimeters. Let's go ahead and drag it off to the side. Okay, so now we're going to create the scaffolding, or what supports the rocket, right? And also, right here, uh, if you wanted to make, uh, say, like, your stuff, um, you know, like, a little bit um, different of a color, let's go on ahead and... Okay, so if you wanted to change the color, just go on ahead and click on this solid, or whatever you have selected, click on solid, and then you'll see colors pop up. So let's go on ahead, since rockets usually launch from a, like a grassy place, I don't know. Um, so let's go on ahead and select green. You see, that's a nice green for grass. I don't know, it just kind of looks nice. Um, actually, let's just make it a little bit larger. Right there. So now we're going to start creating our scaffolding. Our dimensions for our scaffolding will be scaffold one will be 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So let's go on ahead and drag out another box. Be careful in Tinkercad not to mistake the solid box for the whole box. Because if you take the whole box, this is gonna end up to be a hole on the plane. I mean, you can always change it back, back and forth using like the solid and the holes, but it's just a little bit more convenient if you select it the first the right time. If you select it the you select the right one the first time, excuse me. Let me make it full screen so it's a bit easier to see. Okay. Ten millimeters by ten millimeters that by ten. So right now we're looking at right now we're looking at um right now we're looking at well my brain just blinked. Okay. 20 by 20 by 20. So let's go ahead and go over here. 10. Enter. 10. Enter. And 10. Enter. Now this is very useful as I discussed before because you can um, you can adjust it so that you won't have to keep on adjusting and resizing using just your mouse because mice are sometimes very um, very imprecise. So on this so using th these tools, using these different um, parameters that you can easily adjust, you can always get the precise lengths with height, radius, steps, whatever that you need. That's one useful feature. So let's go on ahead and actually drag it off to the side so you can see the entire thing. So that's our first scaffold. Our second scaffold will be seven millimeters by seven millimeters by 20 millimeters, okay? So let's go on ahead and take out 
another one. Make it 7 by 7 by 20. So 7 by 7 by 20. That's our second scaffold, okay? Next, our next scaffold will be 4 by 4 by 15. Take out another one. 4 by 4 by 15. Whoops. Yeah, always remember to press enter. 4 by 4 by 15. Our last one will be 30 by 5 by 2. 30 by 5 by 2. So it's looking like our, a lot like, uh, right now it doesn't really look like anything that might be a scaffold, but, okay, so considering that a um, uh, rocket scaffold is usually concrete, so let's go ahead and change all of these colors to concrete, uh, sorry, to gray. Um, now, this is where we're going to use the group and ungroup features, so we won't have to select each individual block. Just go on ahead and select all, using the click and drag method that I showed you in all of my earlier videos. Click and drag. It's like this. So we're looking at um, gray, right? So let's go on ahead and select a nice gray. So now they're all changed to gray. Looks like concrete now. Okay. Next, we're going to uh, we're going to do the rocket's main body. So the rocket's main body, as I told you before, it's kind of gonna look like um, it's kind of gonna look like um, one of your like cartoon rockets, maybe like you drew as a kid. It's like you're speeding through space, and you have like the moon on the on, the, on your right side, and the sun on your left side, and it's like all happy, right? So we're gonna be modeling one of those. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is that we're going to get a sphere. Okay, so get a sphere on your basic shapes gallery. Scroll down, select sphere. Go on ahead and drag out a sphere. Now, so, what we're aiming with right now is we're going to aim with the same height. So, go on ahead and get the same height, maintain the same height, but your length and your width are 14. So, what we're aiming for is a kind of like cigar-shaped body that you usually would see on a cartoon rocket. Let me show you what I mean. Let's get a nice little overhead view. Shift, go down to 14. Hmm, that didn't really work. Um, let's see here. That's 14. Let's go, let's make this back up to 20. 20. There, you see it's kind of looked like a little bit of a kind of a cigar shape, right? So, next what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, make it 30 millimeters. So, take this 20 and go up to 30. You see, now it's starting to look a little bit more like what could go into space, right? So, let's go on ahead and all we have to do right now is we're going to make the exhaust port of the rocket. So, at the very bottom of your rocket, you would normally see an exhaust port, right? Somewhere, like, right around here at the bottom, where all the flames go shooting out, and you go shooting up into space at 17,000 miles per hour. So, um, let's make the engine. So, just grab a tube object. So, let's go ahead and select this tube object. Now, if you had an engine this big on the side of a rocket, it's a little bit, um, weird. Right, so let's go on ahead and make the tube a little bit smaller. Let's go on ahead and give it a diameter of 8 millimeters and a height of 2. Show the panel. Uh, make your radius. Now remember, diameter is 2 times of radius. So if we have a diameter of 8 millimeters, we'll have a radius of 4. And, if, and our height... Uh, we'll just go ahead and adjust like this. Our height will be 2. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create the rocket's fins. Now our workspace is getting a little bit cluttered over here, so I'm just going to move 
Um, let's call this the rocket parts corner. And let's call this the scaffolding corner. Just move it over here a little bit. Just so that we have a little bit of space to work on. And move the grassy portion over here. Okay, so we're going to be working on this side. So we're going to make the rocket's fins. Now the rocket's fins, what we're going to be doing here is... We're trying to get that nice little curve. So it almost looks like... It looks like if you take like a... If you took like an elephant's tusk looked at it from the side that's what our rocket's fins are going to kind of look like so it kind of has like if you can trace my mouse it kind of looks like this so like this kind of like this kind of shape right so let's go on ahead oh and of course there is no um there is like nothing that is in here right that corresponds to that shape so we're gonna have to make it ourselves let's go on ahead and make our fin. So let's go on ahead and draw, uh, draw, draw, dr drop out another tube object. This tube object is also going to be flattened to two millimeters. So let's go ahead and flatten this thing to two. But we are going to stretch this tube. So we're going to we're going to stretch this tube to thirty-five by eighteen millimeters. Okay. 35 by 18. So 35. So we're looking at 35, 21, 20, to 35. I went too far. 35, 35 by 18. Now, as you're looking at this, this won't make a very good tube, right? So let's go ahead and make this a little bit thinner. It's like the shape. Radius, we're going to make, uh, we're going to need to have a very small radius, so let's go ahead and get two. That didn't look very good. Um, let me see here. Okay, we made the radius four, now we have to, sorry, we have to drag it out again. So, 30. Five and you have to make it perfect. Alright, 35 by 18 about. Let's go on ahead and we're going to drop a box object onto the workspace. Let's go on ahead and select a box object. However, what we're going to do is create this whole object. So we're going to drop actually a whole box. Go down to two millimeters. Actually, let's just make it four because it's going to be a hole. It's going to block it out anyway. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to slice this right in half. This this um, elongated tube with a hole, right? We're trying to slice it right in half so we get that nice profile. So let's go on ahead and elongate this a bit. It doesn't really matter how long you make it. And then let's go on ahead and select it so then it intersects right in half over the, um, over half of the tube. Just like this. Let's go on ahead and group. Actually, let's first see if we can align this a bit better. So, align. Uh, how I'm moving the work plane around like this, I'm, I'm pushing down my uh, middle scroll wheel. Uh, select align. Remember this, we're going to align it right in the center. That didn't go very well. Oh, boy. See if I can get this correct. Eh, whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and group these two together. Okay, so now we have exactly one half. This is what we want. So let's go on ahead and so, next we're going to be actually creating our fin. So, next we're going to get another tube object. 
or you can also yeah, uh, or you can also use a cylinder object. So let's go ahead and select a cylinder object, and we are going to take the cylinder object, put it right here. So you, you're start, almost starting to see right now the the final shape of our fin. Let me show you. Make our cylinder object a bit bigger. Let's go on ahead and drag it until you see that. You see that? There's our fin right there. I'm going to zoom in. Middle scroll wheel to move. You see that? If you look at right above, don't you see this outline of the fin? Let's go on ahead and move it a bit down so we can see it. Right there. That's our fin. Go ahead and group it all together. Oopsies, I just ungrouped it. Oh, never mind. Hey, right, that's good. This is our fin. Let's go on ahead and create some more. Now, how do you do this? Select this. Go ahead and go to duplicate. Move the other one off. We're going to have to make three fins. Of course, you could also settle for more. I'm not saying that three is like... Anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead with three. Now, the fun part. Let's go on ahead and assemble stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to first assemble the launch pad. So what the first part is, is the first part of the launch pad that we're going to be assembling or be working with is going to be this part. Oops, sorry, my perceptive is wrong. It's going to be this part. So this part is going to be placed right on the very middle, actually uh, right on the middle of the scaffold. So let's go on ahead and drag this, sorry, actually, never mind, oh boy, brain fart. Okay, let's go ahead and take this one, drag it out, so it looks like about this, and then get it up so that it pokes right above the grass surface. So this grass surface has a height of, I just changed it, six millimeters. So we're gonna have to get this above up to six millimeters. You see, so the entire thing's poking up. Now let's take the other one and stack it right on top. So what's six plus six? No, sorry. What's so this has a height of ten. So what's ten plus six? Sixteen, right? So let's go on ahead and raise this to a height of sixteen. Let's get a nice overhead view so you can see what's happening. And move it over right on top of the other one. Let's go on ahead and use the align feature. Oh boy. This ain't working. Okay, let's go ahead and use the align feature. Now, if, uh, if like in this case, it's placed on top of something else, so then if you click and drag, it's going to select all of them, right? So, let's go on ahead and you just use the shift key. So, press shift, and it selects both of them. So, let's go on ahead and select align. We're going to want them to be right in the center of each other. So, remember how to do this. Click the, click the center ones until they gray out. Now, we're going to be placing this object right on top. So, what is 20 plus 10 plus 6? 20 plus 10 plus 6 is 36. So, we're going to raise this, raise this to a height of 36 millimeters. Let's get that 36 right in there. Nice. Go out and get that nice overhead view. Let's go ahead and move it over. Uh, just move it kind of in place. And select the shift key. Click the one right underneath it, that one. Go on ahead and click, select a line. Center that. And center that. Yeah! Actually, sorry. You need to also select the bottom one, too. Go on ahead and deselect everything. Select this one. Select... 
this one and select this one like all of them to align go like this there perfect now we're done so deselect move out now this is the part that will be facing up over the rocket so let's go on ahead and get this and raise it to a height of let's do the math 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 6 15 plus 20 is 35 plus 10 sorry 15 plus 20 is 35 plus 10 45 plus 6 51 so let's go ahead and raise this to a height of 51 millimeters Okay, moving into position. You see, now we're looking at nice little gantry system, right? So let's go on ahead and actually rotate this 90 degrees so it's facing the right direction. 90. Okay, uh, let's actually bring this down a little bit because it's now it's floating in, in the air. Oops, no it isn't. Huh, I just moved it over to the side. Okay, now let's move it over like this. Okay, perfect. Deselect and... Oh, no. Huh, sorry. Let's get this. Okay, so you want this poking out like this uh, with a nice little overhang. So you see, it all looks perfectly fine. So let's go on ahead and group all of these objects together. Select all of them. Whoopsies. Select all of them and select group. Now it's all grouped together. Nice. Now, our last thing that we have to do is we are going to put our rocket onto that launch pad but f uh, so we but in order to first do that we're going to have to assemble that rocket because right now the rocket doesn't really look like a rocket does it so first thing that we're going to do is deal with the rocket body which is this kind of cigar shape and the motor so raise the rocket just a little bit above the work plane. Select the motor and let's move it right underneath the rocket. I'm gonna get an overhead view. Zoom in a bit. Move it over with my middle mouse wheel. Oops, it's too sensitive. Okay, move it right over there. And then move it right underneath. Now select that one, which is right underneath it right now, and then select the also the cigar elliptical shape. Select align, and we want them to both be in center. So right now they're both perfectly centered. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, deselect, get that nice under under uh, get that nice sideways view, and we are going to make this rocket body sit right on top of the engine. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There. Let's group all these components together. Nice. Now we're looking at a nice little uh, rocket engine. A rocket with its engine. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put on the fins. Actually, on second thought, if you wanted your stuff to be different colored, like as in this case, it will make no difference when you're three when you're printing it. But if you wanted to be different colored, um, in the design process, then you want to maintain 
your shapes to be ungrouped so because Tinkercad does, doesn't really allow you to change your different colors. I mean, you can change an entire thing like this, but then otherwise you can't change it. So I'm just going to get a nice little orange look on my entire rocket. So now we're going to deal with the fins. So right now the fins are lying flat. They're not very much used to us, right? But what we're going to be doing is rotate them up to 90 degrees. So let's go on ahead and look at it. So where is the rotation? It's right here. Go on ahead and rotate it to 90 degrees. There it is, 90 degrees. Let's go on ahead and move it above because right now it's sitting kind of... um. And get that zero, so it's sitting right there. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to move this rocket and its engine upwards. Just kind of estimate it. And then we're going to take this and we're going to move it into position on the rocket. I'm just going to use the arrow keys right now, kind of nudge it into place and then look at it from the side. Okay, so my rocket's a little bit too far off the ground, so let's go ahead and move it here. Ooh, right about there. And we're going to move the fin in. And move it down a little bit more. Move the fin in a bit more. Move it up a little bit more. Okay, there. That looks right. Now let's go on ahead and do the same for all the other fins. Actually, right now I'm just too lazy, so I'm just going to duplicate. I'm just going to delete these ones and duplicate the other one. I just deleted them, and let's go on ahead and select this fin and duplicate them. Duplicate. And duplicate. Okay, now they're all facing the wrong direction, right? So what we're going to be doing right now is we are going to turn them around just like that. However, the problem is, remember that this, we only have three fins, and the three fins have to be aligned with the rocket motor so that there is the same amount of degree all around, so they're e equally positioned position. So we're going to, um, so what is 180, what, what is 360 divided by 3? Well, it's 120, right? So let's go on ahead and uh, as using this as a reference point, do it from, do it so we can say um, 320, uh, sorry, 120. So let's first get a nice reference point. So right now these two are perfectly aligned. Actually, let's look at this fin first. Okay, good. This fin alignment is also at zero degrees. So this fin alignment is also at zero. Um, doesn't seem like they're very much aligned. Okay, sorry, they are aligned. So let's go on ahead and move this to 120 degrees. Actually, sorry, on second thought. We're looking at 180 degrees when you're using this as a reference point. 180 divided by two-thirds. Now, remember, two-thirds because we're looking at the entire thing, right? So, two-thirds of 180 degrees will grant each fin the uh, equal amount, which is 60 degrees. So, two-thirds of 180 is 60 degrees. So, let's move this to 60. Whoopsies. Okay. 60 degrees. Whoops, I moved it too far. 60. That's 60 degrees right there. Now this fin, we're going to do it the opposite way around. So 60 degrees this way. So we're going to be looking at negative 60 degrees. So it looks like that. Is that right? Darn. I think it should be positive 60 degrees. Let's check this out. 
Hmm. Maybe it's been getting confused. Let's go ahead and go with 30. And whatever. Let's just drag this first fin into position. Okay, so that looks fairly decent, right? Now let's take this last fin and try to see if we can get this into position. I think that we might have to start over again. Okay, um, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna start over again. So delete, and delete. Alright, give me a moment while I Okay, I think I figured it out. So, if you select an object, and then you hold down the shift key, if you select an object and rotate it by holding down the uh, same time holding down the shift key, you're going to be rotating in 45 degree intervals. So right now I rotated this one, so let, I'm going to go back. Let's see. So it's originally like this. So we're going to. Uh, I'm just going to rotate it back for you guys. Ooh, okay. Okay, so they're originally like this, right? So I just duplicated this fin three times. So they're originally like this. Now we're going to select the shift key, look at it from above. Shift key, hold it down. And we're going to shift key, hold it down. And go this to 135. And the other fin go to... is real. Okay. What does happen? Okay, so shift key, hold it down, and aim for negative. One hundred and thirty. Oh boy. Just doesn't like me. Okay negative 135 degrees and now everything is in position let's go ahead and move all the fins okay looking good we're gonna have to move it in a little bit farther Okay. 
and move the third fin right there. Does that look good? Mm, I still think this fin needs to be drawn out a little bit more. Okay, anyway, so there's a lot of tinkering. Okay, I seem to get all the angles correct. Let's go on ahead and group uh, all the objects together. Group all the objects together, and then troubles are done. Whoops! I just seem to ungroup all the objects. Huh? All right. Oh, there we go. There's our final grouped object. Nice rocket, eh? Now let's move it onto the launch pad, and we are ready for launch. Zoom out a bit. Move that thing over. Now it's kind of sinking below, right? Because remember, our launch pad is six millimeters thick. So let's go ahead and move it to six. Okay. Rocket ready for launch. Group it all together. It's thinking, thinking, thinking. Perfect. Move it right into the center of the stage, and boom, our rocket is ready. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry for the numerous holdbacks in this video, but um, hope you come back again, and more interesting developments to follow. See ya.